Welcome to Boulder and Pebble. I am Soviet commander. Uh, man. Fuck, this intro already went to shit. Hey there, guys. I'll be doing... It's Ben here from Boulder and the Pebble. And we'll be doing another uh, re kit review. And hopefully, if I do all of this correctly, it will be a build thing as well. I'll build it and show you guys the steps. Hopefully, it should work. I don't know. I can't make any promises. But um, I'll just show you a quick box. Here is some art of the 1943 and 42. Good old proper Soviet construction. And I'll pull it out when we... Uh, here's just some more advertisements for kits. Some more money. You got the KV-1, which is Russian. You got the... I actually have that Sherman. I believe... Hold on, let me see if I can get... A little bit. If that is the Sherman, I think it is. Um, yeah, I think maybe. If I'm correct, and I'll show you here. Just look at the green. Okay. Uh, that's this one right here. It's the M4 Sherman. I actually took the machine gun off that one and put on this one here. My favorite, the Sherman Firefly. There we go. I know this is kind of getting long. Uh, here's my n most recent, the uh, German Panther. I have to add some camouflage. Well, but for the most part, that's what it's going to look like. Pretty cool looking. Okay, back to the kit review. Because I know you guys are just excited to see what good, strong Soviet... Um, oh shit, a new uh, video from John Tron. That's awesome. Um, can Soviet, Soviet construction can guarantee us. Okay. I don't know where to start. We'll go with the tracks, because that's an easy way to do things. Hold on, I'm going to try to set it down on my... Set it down so I can show you guys. So here's the tracks. They're rubber band tracks. Yeah, big floppy tracks, but... uh, Yeah, they're actually pretty decent for rubber band tracks. Yeah, and they're rubber, and they get glued. You could probably glue them with... Normal modeling glue. I'd use, recommend super glue or heating them up. You can do whatever. So, here is the T34 hull. The bath style, bathtub style hull, as Andy Hobby Headquarters would say. Here we go. This will be hopefully a good video for you guys. I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. You guys can bear with me. Here's the top of the hull, which has actually an incredible amount of detail. Tamiya is not is known for their fit, and they do pretty good detail, so, I mean, it's pretty good. You have the machine gun port right up front there, the hatch. Sorry, my hands are shaking like a fucking maraca. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? I don't know why I start seeing some bull burnham, but anyways, yeah, there we go. So there's some of that. This is all going to be done with one hand, because I have to hold my iPad with one hand, and um, open stuff with the other so you got some decals some good old russian details here we go numbers i have to get some clear before i would put decals on but um so actually speaking of uh um the hull i know i already showed this but uh if you notice it's kind of hard to tell in the light but it actually used to be a toy you could uh batteries and everything i don't want that but uh also another thing about t34 tanks so most tanks have pins, tank, like their tracks have pins in them to keep them in. Problem with the good old Soviet construction, they're like, nah fam, we don't need them to stay attached. We just need to have a plate, which it doesn't, I don't know if they have it on this one. But it would go right about there, and it would, as the t tank tracks would go around, it would like spin, and then it would pop the pins back into place. And... If any of you are historian buffs, you'll know the T-34 had huge fucking gaps because they basically were like, let's produce billions of these and not care whether they're quality or not. Well, the Germans only made, I think, 3,000 of the Tiger 1s. Really, it kind of shows the difference in building techniques. Next here is the some of the turret stuff. You have the uh, turret. That's that screw. Here's some spare track links here with a bunch of other things. It comes with actually a fair bit of commander 
things. So that's pretty cool. I'll give them that. They kind of did a really good job with um, this model. Or at least so far. I mean, it, I, it could, the parts could all look good, but then when it comes down to it, they, it could be terrible construction. You know, you never know for sure, but... Okay. Hold on, folks. This is going to be a tricky challenge. So I have to, again, as I said, I have to do basically most of this with one hand. Because I don't have a tripod, because my broke ass can't afford one. So... Shit, I almost took out the... Okay, so, first of all, we'll go into the polycaps. And if you guys don't know what polycaps are, they're basically, like, rubber caps you put in, like, usually tank wheels, so that you can, uh, get them in and out, which is really helpful for tank wheels, because it means I can take them on and off very easily, which, if any of you have ever built model tanks, you'll know that's really better for painting and everything. But, so, for the next sprue, you have some nice engine stuff. You have the end back engine plate, the like grill radiator. You have some back end more engine thing. You have some tow hooks. You have some hatches, some flaps, the oil bins, more spare track links, some uh, railings. Yeah, that's that spur. Shit. Ah. Sorry if this is not your ideal model building channel. Like, I mean, obviously, my recommended ones are Andy's Hobby Headquarter, Plasmo, um, Herbert Herpeter. He has he builds way smaller scale for the most part than so does Plasmo. I guess they build smaller scales than you would see on Andy's Hobby Headquarter, but they pretty good. So here's some more. Um, you have some wheels. They're really good. I'll see myself out here. You guys will come to enjoy, appreciate my puns. I'll make some throughout the building process. So here's... I, even though I could probably do less for explaining, I'll probably speed up to get some. They actually have logs. Those things you see right now are logs. They give you actual logs so you don't have to make them yourself. Which, frankly, I think is absolutely awesome. Because, like, most people would, like, go out and, like, take some sticks and cut them up and make their own logs. But in this weather, who oh boy, you'll sure be glad you don't have to go outside to get any logs. Because I don't know... Like, if you ever search up any, like, T-34 models or, like, um, pictures, usually they have good old... You'll notice the, the bins, the oil bins, and the good old log. Which, and here's an interesting fact for you. In uh, War Thunder, it's a, a tank game. There is a vehicle that has a, a wood bar on the back. That has 500 millimeters of protection. That's more, more than some tanks have just in general armor. Which is kind of funny. You have to be at a certain angle. But like, It's just insane. But it probably since they updated everything. And the game got broken because of that. Probably not anymore. But here's the wheels. Again these are really good. I know I repeated the puns. But I couldn't think of anything better. I get, guess you're getting tired of my puns. Yeah, someone's gonna hunt me down and murder me for all these puns, but I don't care. I enjoy them. So yeah, these are all the wheels and everything. You have the drive sprockets, all the other things. So that that's the sprues. Um, next, I'll bring out the instructions. Oh, great. You get a metal pin and a screw and everything. I assume this metal bar is either for a barrel or for like a tra tank pin. Oh, that's the Japanese version. That's right. Okay, I'll do the English because unless you're watching from Japan or somewhere where they speak Japanese, it's really not going to apply to you to have the Japanese instructions. So that's just the screw and the pin. Yeah. Come to some good painting guides. It's actually a pretty decent instruction manual. Except it's fucking dumb how they have it laid out. But. I'm just salty old Ben at being salty again. As per usual to me in instructions, you have all the parts lists, so you don't have to worry about different things. You build up the wheels with the polycaps, which frankly, you guys know what I just, or said earlier about the loving. 
yeah, and like the drive sprocket and, and either wheels, you usually want to leave not glued, especially for any sort of track, so you can wrap them around. Usually for um, Lincoln Link, which is, I have an example of what Lincoln Link is here on one of the sprues. These right here. Uh, let's see if my... Yeah, these right here. Those are Lincoln Link. And you can build those up, and usually they'll have entire sets, but this has rubber band. Which is not the end of the world. Certain people love them, certain people hate them. I, I prefer rubber band. I actually, I don't know. What I'd like to do, if I ever build another Tiger, I'm going to do full model tracks, which come from Hungary. But they're metal tracks and have the natural sag you get with Tiger tracks. So, yeah. Here's more construction. Here is the barrel. It's a two-part barrel, I guess. You can Usually, when it's two-part, it means... There's two halves that go together, but this is just one whole barrel with a thing at the end. I'm really pissed because I lost my T3485 model. I think it was a Dragon kit, and it had the T3485 turret, which looks really dope, but I lost that. Or it got thrown out or something, so I'm rather kind of pissed. But, excuse me, the T34 actually got its nickname for being a Mickey Mouse tank. Because if you see on the instructions here, the two pit, uh, like cupolas, in the T3485, and I think the T76, depends on how you build it, it can have two round cupolas, and it'll look like Mickey Mouse ears, like, like on the box here. The two hatches flipped open, they look like Mickey Mouse ears, and, they, and the Germans would call it the Mickey Mouse tank. So a little bit of an interesting fact. Here's the classic strong Soviet barrel. So they don't, so f as far as I can tell, they do not have the pin plate that like just knocks things back. So, I mean, it's not 100% accurate, but I mean, it will do. Here's some more, uh, here's track attachments, I think. Oh, and the logs. Good old stro strong Soviet logs. Some wire. Excuse my bad Soviet Russian accent. Hopefully people get an enjoyment of this. And then when it comes to the building, I'll try to... Hopefully it will only come out to a 40 minute video, but if it comes out longer, then I'm sorry guys. I can't really do a whole lot. And here's some more decal stuff. And that is essentially, when it comes down to it, the kit. I know it's been a 12 minute video already. I'll probably speed some things up or like, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But if I do this correctly and it's like Andy's Hobby Headquarter, this video will be a part of the build. And we'll get from here to the build. So I'll see you when we start building.